everybody welcome to the flower patch my name is Iris Smith yeah, I hope you had a good weekend excuse the hair it's very windy outside I've been out and uh, this is what it's ended up like so I'm not gonna sit in front of the mirror and start pampering myself this is just me so um, I guess on a comfy day <laughs> I can't I don't know how, you know how else to explain it um, again I hope you had a wonderful weekend uh, it was a bit cold here but um, I wrapped up really warm and I stayed I stayed in I made sure I didn't go out I would got no need um, so uh, again I just want to uh, wish over the weekend the comments that I've had uh, from uh, you wonderful subscribers and uh, you know saying that uh, you think it's great how I uh, explain uh, how I place my things and why I place them there and it gives you a lot of uh, help and um, also um, to, for when you actually do your arrangements uh, which I'm very honoured very very honoured that I can help in any way that's my main thing out of everything is just to help you guys you wonderful people and uh, give you some um, help, uh, maybe a knowledge, experience and a bit of advice uh, through my years and years of uh, experience with floral. So uh, today, I want to do something different. Instead of Valentine's Day, Christmas, I want to do an all year round sort of a theme thing. I've never done this before. Uh, it's just going to be off the top of my head. I don't know how am I going <laughs> to attach things. Um, again, I've just got to try and dig into my brain and think of uh, all the experience I've had and how, you know, I do it. So, let's, let me just get what we're doing. First of all, I've done a bow. Yes, another bow. But it it's in browns and with a gingham as well uh, and a cream with the brown with the cappuccino on as well um, so with just small tail ends I don't know if I'm going to keep those I've cut these ones shorter so I've prepared those they're all five inch loops apart from the ones in the center are five and a half again I cut those half an inch uh, make those half an inch bigger because when it sits in and you pull it tight they sink into the center and they sort of like shrink so I, I add on half of an inch extra so that's our bow so you might be pleased I've not got the right color so I've had to incorporate colors what's the same as this <laughs> this is mine I don't use it no more um, when I was cooking the other day, or trying to cook, I spotted it. So I'm not saying that my cupboards are full. They're not. I'm very minimalist. I don't like a lot of things in my cupboards. This was at the back, and I knew it was at the back. I see it every time I open the door. And I just thought this morning, I'm going to try and use this to arrange something. Um, I've got a digital ones now, what show the grams, kilograms, ounces, pounds. This one, uh, it does the grams and kilograms but, um, and the ounces, but you know what, why not? Why not use it? So the top comes off, it's very, it's loose, so it doesn't, uh, it's not fixed on. Um, I've taken two holes out, uh, two of the screws out there because I'm considering placing the oasis in here and placing the tie wrap through those holes that was a, just an idea uh, that was in the house so I can't go back and get the screws <laughs> it's not loose even though I've taken the screws out because they're holding it down uh, so I thought we'd get those kitchen scales and attach it I don't even know if it'll work doing it like that but hey in for a penny in for a pound you know me guys and because it's red, because at one stage I had a red and gloss, red gloss and black kitchen. 
and I bought that for that and since we've changed it to white I don't use it <laughs> what a waste so I thought that we would get some oasis I've checked how much I need I want to fill this so I need two two blocks and uh, to fit on each end like that so that's what we're going to do hopefully guys again fingers crossed I've just dropped the floor up so because of the colours and the bow is different I've not used red I'm going to go through the flowers first I've got out and I've cut these down three spider lilies in red thought well it's got to go with that I mean the, the bow is neutral anyway so that will go with anything so I've got those I've got out my red calla lilies today oh there's an orange one in there my red calla lilies today for the movement hopefully <laughs> um, I've also got out some red amaranthus I've placed these on single stems instead of the bunch so I put picks on so I only want them singular um, so I took off one two three four five six eight mm, that's odd uh, but I've got eight there if I need another one to make it up to nine I'll grab one now I've been in my oddments box again I always check that before I start a video and I found some red carnations so and they're only small so I thought we could incorporate those I'll get to the good part nearer to the end so I thought why not incorporate some of our beautiful beautiful cream colored sunflowers to go with the bow and cream and red look lovely they look lovely together and then I've grabbed some more of these ones popped out again these bands are rubbish um, I've only took five out what we had the other day when we did oh gosh it was stuck together uh, when we did the fan arrangement again I used which color I can't remember which color guys but I used one anyway in <laughs> oh the blue we used the blue um, so today I've got the peach so I'm going to uh, again it's the same as the sunflower so I'm going to incorporate those and I thought we need something they're more like a peachy with a dark peach inside roses I've not used these yet so I just thought I'll grab the bunch out don't they look pretty and the closed up roses I didn't want the big ones because we've got the sunflowers I wanted something where it was already just closed and, and semi open as they say um, so we've got those now I was a bit what can I use for the floral uh, for the foliage these was in my bucket these oddments three oddments but then I got a fresh stem of my ficus what I say look like cat's eyes um, probably don't but you know um, so I tested the variegated one against it for some reason it just didn't go so I thought the green the, with the limey colour in against the red look much much better so we've got those um, I've got out some ruscus um, I've got one oddman and a fresh stem of ruscus so that's what we've got we may use that as filler we may just use it who knows as anything I've got a fresh stem of what they call vanilla grass um, these are push-ups as well you can push those up um, so I thought we could add a bit of spikiness into the theme um, you know just to give it a different um, texture uh, from the rounded shaped leaves and again in my oddments bucket these are what I found 
and I spotted they've got a bit of bread on them. So I thought this little fern, we could just add these somewhere as perhaps a bit of filler foliage. So I've got those. And of course, all oh my conifer arrived. They all arrived yesterday. That was weird. They should have arrived Saturday. Then I got an email saying between three and five in the afternoon. Um, they didn't arrive. So then I got an email stating um, they will arrive the next working day. And lovely delivery lady, my local one, she, um, Zita, she came yesterday with them, bless her, in the cold. Um, but then I had another message that I've ordered something for, uh, some more variegated ficus from the Royal Mail saying that uh, they couldn't access my garden. I really don't know how. I've got a one path, gates open, and you walk up and the front door's there. You only have to ring the bell. So they're gonna perhaps, they said may deliver today. So we may get interrupted. Um, I've got these as well, a bit of the oddments of the vine. I thought we could have hanging down as movement as well. I still forget what these are. I've been chopping away at this and I thought we'll maybe use these also for movement with the vine just to use up this rest of this bunch. And these. I've took out some of these because they've got red in and I thought they would look lovely also sat on there. And then I've got some more grass. How many did I get? One, two, five. Some grass with a bit of fern and some little um, berries or seed pods, I don't know, on the top. So I thought we could incorporate that. So that's the floral. This is the reason I went out today. With it being scales, I bought a wooden, still got the tags on, a wooden spoon. I can't find those uh, any more whisks I've got. A new little whisk and I was going to buy a big sieve but then I spotted these little sieves so I thought we'd get a little sieve as well. And then a wooden spatula as well. With it being scales, just to add a bit of decor in um, to see what we can go. 69 pence. Yeah, 69 pence, guys. We've got a shop just up the road. It's like what, or, or, uh, what do they call it? A bits and bobs shop where they sell a bit of everything. Screws, kitchenware, um, cards, you know, things like that. Um, so I got these from there. £1.29, £1.29, so I thought, well, why not, um, I did see other things, that spatulas, but in rubber, but I wanted to keep the woody effect, so I got them in wood, so, one moment guys, I've got my baubles, but again, I've got to find somewhere else to place these, <laughs> so that's what we're going to use today, again, I haven't a clue how this is going to turn out. So, let's place that there. Oh, my drink as well. Oh, my neighbour, who I said had the tree cut down. Oh, bless her. She's brought me a bag around. Well, she hung it on my fence for me to spot it. And this is what she, because she had her pine tree cut down. And it grows every year she's bought me a bag full of these isn't that sweet of her really really oh they're beautiful shape and they are heavy these when they're growing on the tree they grow like that really tall so that is really very sweet the bag comes up to about here full of them i don't know if you can see but yeah that's what she's given me she knows she's had to put uh, wreaths and things off there. I think that's really sweet. That'll save me some pennies, bless her. I'm getting some uh, pine cones next year. Oh, I've got the wreath rock out as well. 
because I was considering, do I put the reef wrap in? I can't make my mind up today. But first of all, I need to cut this out. So I'm going to move it up here. So, or shall I do it just centre? Oh, I need to stand up to, to put my weight on. Let me get my spatula. And because it goes inwards there, I've got to try and shape it, I think, to go in. It's not a straight, it doesn't go straight down. So let's see how that works out. And so you can use this. I thought I'd make this for a kitchen, an all year round kitchen. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've got the blooming sheets. I just don't want to hit the metal. All I'm doing is just, I've placed this on top of here, pushed it in, and I'm just going down, take that bit off, cutting down. This is quite easy, especially if you've got problems with your, you know, arthritis, any illness with your hands. This would make it easier for you to shape something if you're placing it you know inside a container i think so anyway let's just go back around there right look at that I need to see how it's sitting. Yeah, because it's not very deep, guys. I don't mind some sticking up because I need to pl place the uh, spatula and everything in. So let's see. Let me just. Soften it on. So it goes down. So I think if I placed it in a bit more, let me just shape that. If I placed it in, and then again, and then pushed it as far as I could, it may lift out. Let's have a look what it does. Line that up. There we go, look, it's breaking because, because the shape goes, it doesn't go straight down, it goes inwards. If not, then I may have to just cut it. No, it's not doing it, so. Then what I would do, I'd go from here where it's just broken and I'd go at a slight angle all the way around the bottom. Just bringing it in. Not bad, not too deep because it may be okay just like this. Um, if it is still needs doing then I would take a little bit more off at a time and I'm going to do these one by one no it's still not going in so again I'll take some more off and again I'm going in a diagonal position As you can see like that. So I'm just gonna shift the 
this might be a bit messy everybody there you go look at that it's perfect because I'm going to uh, glue these in so let me just get rid of these bits so now that fits in like that I'm going to have to do the same with this Start at this end. Oh, I've got all. Let me get this out way. And it's going cold. So I'm going again. I'm not going in too far again because I don't want to just judge it and think, yeah, that I've got. I think I went in about that much. I'm just taking little bits off again and then testing it so I can see how much I need to take off oh look at that I, it's just I must have taken off the right amount And then again, that is that lifting up? I may need to take a little bit more off, guys. And when I say a little bit, as we say, a millifuel, just so it can sit a bit deeper in the pot without just popping up slightly. Where even if it's a millimetre above the other one, I need it to sit in perfect. Oh my goodness gracious me in love. Sorry. <laughs> Done it. There we go. Let's take that bit off. I can use that for filling in the bottom of a container if need be. And I'm just cutting them into little blocks because if you have a container like um, a vase or a jug and uh, it's, you've not got something at the bottom, you don't want to play, and I wouldn't do it either put a full block of oasis down right to the bottom because you're not going to use it all little oddments by dropping these in at the bottom and perhaps if the containers this high part you know just dropping them in on top of each other and the, till about here and then just put a small bit of oasis at the top that's what i use things like this for blocks to place in a container if it's a tall container especially so I'll place those under here I can't believe it looks pretty So it does get slightly messy, uh, but you know, again, if you've got a soft headed uh, paint brush, you know, to get it off your mat, because I used, I used to use a harder one and it used to stick the grains, some of the grains stayed on the mat and I could feel them. Again, I don't mind chopping into Oasis, but I just don't like the grainy feel, but that's just me. I'm just weird. So let's just get rid. Don't want that. Let's hang that back up. Oh, 
my goodness, what was that? Right. Let's get it off my hands as well. So, now I've got that in. I don't know whether to sit down today. I may be sitting and standing. So as you can see, that's still moving. So I need to keep that in. I will glue it at the bottom, but then when I put the tie wrap on to attach it to the actual scale, it will come over the top of the oasis. So that will also give it a second bit of support. So, first of all, Let's just get this oasis out of here so it so it's nice and clean. Get my spatula and I'm gonna go I should have put my glue gun on. I'm gonna go around the edge. Around the edge. A little bit at the bottom. So that's for one. So we'll push that. So that's there. And do the same with this. I'm going around the uh, inside of the edge. also some on the bottom as you can see I haven't done it neat I just placed it in and then that one in as well doesn't that look I can feel the heat of the glue oh that's one way to keep your hands warm oh it's a bit hot now <laughs> well, there we go. Here we have it. That's in. Now, do I cover it? Something's telling me yes because. If I place the bow hanging from there, I don't want it up here, I want it at the front, but something's telling me yes, not just because I like this, I do. Again, when I use it with this, if I've got sides like this, you know, lifted out of the container, I do the top first, because then when it comes to doing the sides, this little bit that's hanging over, I can fold that down and when I do the sides I can use a side bit to keep that in its place. So we're going to do that, I may need some more pins actually, so let me get some more out, uh... oh that's a bit too much, I go over top me. <laughs> so what I do with this wreath wrap. I hang a little bit over the top, probably uh, half of a centimetre, so then when I go round, I can grab it. And I start by placing one of my floral pins in. So I just hold that top bit. Let me bring some on this side. And then I place another one there. And then I chop. And I do the same here, but then I'm 
because you can see that I overlap it instead of going right there I just go slightly over the top of the, the one I've just placed on just so it doesn't you know show anything and then again I, I pull slightly on it to give it a tight finish oops oops can't get under it there and before I start using it again I just take that angled bit off where I've cut it Again, I'm going over the top just by about again a centimeter just give a little pull on it even though it's like that I'm going around it at the bottom so I don't need to uh, cut it immaculate or have it right to the bottom. As you can see, it's the same there. I will cut that little piece off. That's like a little bit too long. And again. This is quicker than placing the moss on, I must admit. And on our last piece, do the same. Again, I'm just placing the moss pin there, the floor up here. So now you can see that there's a little bit here hanging over, but now we're going to go around the sides. I may need to fold this in half again. Yeah. So because the side isn't as wide as what this is, I'm folding it in half. Just want to measure so I can start here. Just going to go round in a circle and follow the shape of the container. Right, I can just see a little bit of oasis there, so let's pull that down. Hold it in place.
coming around to this edge again so I'll fold this cord, this bit in so we'll grab it just come into the end bit so where I started I'm just overlapping that bit where I started and I'm going to cut there so look at that beautiful I think on these it was 90 metres. That's a lot. So let's move these out of the way. Right. what happens here guys <laughs> so I want where I've finished with my wreath wrap I want that at the back so I'm going to place that there I've got out some cable ties or zip ties or tie wraps I know one won't work so I'm going to have to double it I don't even know if, I don't think I'm going to get it through them all. I will to there, but then it'll stick to there, so what a shame. So then I'm going to have to go underneath where the hole is. See, it doesn't even fit there, so crikey. I'm going to have to do it again. Triple the tie wrap, let's have a look. That don't fit, so quad, quadruple it, oh. It doesn't matter how many times you put, uh, put them together. There we go. Yeah, that's underneath. So I'll pull in that. I've got one here. I'm going to pull that. Pull the one underneath. And pull that. So then I'm going to get my pliers and just then snip them off. I want four more because I don't just want it there I need to get over here as well because I won't think that it will be secure enough so let's get put four more together if you've got the longer ones and they fit just as one oh super <laughs> even know what the longest uh, cable ties you can buy are. I just buy ones what look long. Right, so I'm going to have to go through there and up. Oh. I 
what I'm going to do, if I can, is go under. Do I go under? Do I go under? Sure, it's central. I'm going to pull on that one, pull on that, pull on that. There we go. Have a look first. Happy days! Happy days! Cut these off. There we go, guys. We now have one secure tray. Oh look, it's altered its weight now. Let's get it back on zero. It'll change once the floor rolls in. So, we've done that. So because, again, I've taken into consideration that I want to still see the dial. So I may place this just here and have that as your focal point here along with your dial. So I've still got the tie off on that in case I wanted to tie wrap it. So let's pull that tie, cut that. Oh I do need, I keep saying to my son, I've been hinting, I do need some new clippers. I'm hoping one of them's got me some crimby. Yeah, so that'll go at the front. Let me take these off. We don't want the price on. too big but then I could lean it to the side instead. I was going to chop it off if I thought it was too big. So let me just work out now guys. It is rather long. I don't want it sticking up like that. I wonder if I could do it with these. Be careful that it's not going to fly in the face. There we go. Let's just take those sharp bits of wood off. That's better. Oh, ain't that diddy? Yeah, that's much better. That one will be all right. So, let's see. Because I want to place these in first, I think, for like you would with your bow on your wreath. Or if you had a, uh, sometimes some people put the sign on a wreath first as well. Um, so, I'm thinking of slightly having that 
I may have one coming out here and that in the centre there. Now let me take into consideration the bow. Gracious me. Yeah, what I'm going to do, let me just make a bit of an oval. Oh, I was just going to take it off. Make sure it's facing forward. I may not be able to, because I've flattened it now. Let me just put a bit of that. Stick this in first. And I'm going near the centre with this and I'm placing it at just a slight little bit of an angle like that. I'm not going any, you know, further down because we've got the others to place in as well. I want to place that around there. I'm going to snip a bit of this wreath wrap. I don't want it to pull on it. Again, put a bit of glue on. <laughs> Doesn't that look sweet? Now, because we've got wood there, I don't want wood here. I want the wood on this side. And then here, you see, this may need a pit because it's tiny. I may need to uplift it a little bit. So, I'm going to get, because those picks I have will not hold that because it's got that loop and it needs something slightly stronger. So, let's have a look. Oh, I do have these. Oh, that's nice. I do have these with them being... Have a look if there's anywhere I can place it. See, they're more hidden, and if you had a green, you'd see it on there. So, what I want to do is try and place it at the top so it's touching the sieve at the top and glued onto that, and then also glued onto one of the, the metal uh, frame bit here, the handle, so it's glued onto that as well. So then it's not in the centre the way you can see it. I mean, it doesn't look bad in the centre, but I want it to have a bit more support. So this is where I should have put my glue gun on. I am terrible. I could have got a bigger sieve, but I had a look at them, but it was just too big. So... I opted for the little one. These look like what you'd use for your tea bags, but I checked it out and it said just a sieve on it, so that I was happy with that. So I'm going to place that there and then on the handle there. I'm going to let that take it to the metal. Remove some of the glue that's seeped off or it dries thoroughly. Oh, this attack, this dries really quick. There we go. So now we've got our own little pig. So I don't want it that long, I want it that there. So what I'm going to do is just place that one alongside it there. 
so then you have that effect now this one because it's got no sharp bit on or There we go. Did that go? Oh, I thought that went in my drink then. Right, so I'm just going to snip a bit of this wreath wrap again because I don't want it to uh, pull on it as I'm trying to get it in. something for a kitchen for when you're cooking isn't that wonderful and again then with the bow I want to place that if I just move that something there so we're not using too much floral again I want to see this uh, dial so doesn't that look pretty in fact we'll stick that in now I'm just going to get some on the end I've been trying to clean my glue uh, gun this morning because it is glued up and it's terrible. Oh gosh, I've got the glue following me. Let me just get rid of this glue, guys. This is following me. Gosh, and I'll put my spatula in. So, just fluff that. there we have it doesn't it look pretty and then the thing is we've got all of that to play with with everything we've got so the main elements um, is the bow and these um, kitchenware they're on um, so now they're on we can work around don't that bow look lovely against these wooden uh, wood, wood, wooden spoon and the spatula and the coffee ribbon I chose because it's like when you're baking after a while you sit down and have a coffee while you're waiting for your cake or something to uh, cook or bake should I say in the oven so oh I'm dead excited 
Let's have a look what we're going to use. Let's place our floral. Again, I may not be using all the floral. I've just got bits out. Oh, I've got one there. Because with our sunflower, I do want to have some coming out here to join the bow there. Because I think that that would look absolutely lovely. Really blending well. So, and then again with the vine, I just turn it over. So the vines push up as well. And just to give it a bit of movement coming from the sides, just to add the vine, you know, just hanging over as well. Like that. Yeah. All these ideas, when you put something in like that, these ideas just come flooding in. So, let's get our ficus. What all the grass have I got? Oh, that one's come off. And then I've also got these for the movement. If I stood that upright slightly. Three actually together. Right, let's get some fibers in. The only reason I'm not getting no, none of these at the moment is just to see whether one of my children or my husband get me some new ones for Christmas. Right, I'm going at near the back. I'm not going right behind here because I've got places to fill. So as you can see, I'm going here. We have to fill up here. Um, so I'm bringing some of the fire curse around here not I'm not right you know mirror imaging it I'm going slightly offset from the other one so that one's about an inch in and I'm going half an inch in here so you can see those in the background and then I'm going to bring one at the back just coming off like that because we have got to also you know take into consideration this here we could put little bits underneath you know where the bow is I mean not that long but if you get get what I'm saying uh, little bits under there as well let me get this and now I've uplifted it a little bit let me just see if you can see I've got a complex now <laughs> I think you can see oh. so yeah and also because we've got the red ones they would la look nice you know just poking out somewhere I mean, I would twist them so one's in a different direction. So they're like that. And just bring it here, one here. So, I like this. Just 
just going to bend that one slightly down so it's not sticking up too much. I think I want these three in the centre, but I want to make sure that they're not all like that. So two facing outwards. Again, I'm not having them too tall. I'm going to place them all together. Like that. On this occasion, I, like I say, I always usually do my greenery first. Um, but sometimes I do add in bits of my floral just to see if it looks right. And if it does, then I'll just place it in. Again, I'm just going around the edges here, just adding a bit of the fibers. Like I say guys, I haven't planned this, I haven't planned a design, I'm just going with the flow again today. I seem to be doing that sometimes. Sometimes I've got a plan in my head, especially when the customers are here and they've, they've also got an idea and then, they, then I've got a plan and that what comes to mind and then I, you know, talk to them about that and see what they think and then we go, go from there. Uh, but on this occasion I've got no plan. None whatsoever. I have had some of my subscribers say, how can you make something look so pretty or beautiful without having a plan? Um, well, my answer to that, I think, is... Uh, Due through a lot of designs and experiences that I've done and, you know, things like that, it just seems to come slightly natural, you know, that you, you see something and it just, you can picture what you want to, to achieve. Um, but sometimes you, I have sat there for a while and contemplated on what I'm going to do. Uh, and then I go off and perhaps have a cup of coffee and then it pops in my head. Um, but also at other times, um, because I understand, you know, a lot of many of you, I think you all do really, you know, you're all wonderful. So I, uh, because I, I've learned a lot about placing and things like that. Uh, that also, I can see if something's not sitting right or doesn't look right. And that's why I always test it before I actually, you know, if I'm not sure when I start to place something, I'll always, you know, try it first before I place it in. Because again, I, I've done it lots of times where I've just thought, oh yeah, that'll look right there. I know it will, I've done it before. But then it depends on what you're using, like your container um, or, you know, or your other elements that it may or may not look nice uh, you know. It may not suit how the others do what you've done before. So that's why now I've learnt my lesson and I like to place them before I... I make my mind up. So I think I don't want these that one on because it's got something on it. And let me just cut that little bit off. Right. So that is how. Um, 
and just bend that one so it looks like it's facing upwards. So that is how that looks from the front. So again, before I carry on, I want to place in these. So I don't forget where I'd like them to be situated. And on this occasion, one may be lower than the other. Yeah, they will. Uh, where's the third? And then I think the third, if I can feel, yeah. So I want them like that, in the triangular position, but on these, I don't want them mirror imaging each other, so they look, I don't, I, don't, I can't think of the word, but I want one, if I had one slightly a bit higher, it would have more of an effect. Um, Somebody's also asked me, when do I know enough's enough? Um, now, I always say, uh, wh when you're doing an arrangement, if you, you know, enough's enough if you're placing your elements like your floral in and your, your greenery, and if it's not adding anything, any more interest or making it, you know, wow factor and it you know it's not doing anything else for the arrangement enough's enough now if you add an element to another element and all of a sudden it's added a bit more interest then carry on if if that makes sense um so you know this could be full at the back and if i've added these in and then because they wasn't there and i put these in and this and they've added a bit more interest then carry on. But if I've added these in and they've not gave it added more interest to the arrangement, stop. Because it's not going to do anything else by adding other things in either. That's how I say enough is enough. I don't know if people, you know, some people would agree, but that's that's how I not how I was taught, that's how I think. Um if it's not you know i hope it makes sense if it's not adding any more interest or any more wow factor to the arrangement by adding something else in stop then enough is enough it's not doing nothing more to it so then you stop uh, that's how i see it guys um uh, but like if i add other things to it and it's had adding a bit more of a wow wow factor then carry on. I hope that makes sense. So again, I'm not adding this one in the same place as that one. I don't want to mirror image it. So, oops, let's get that blue. Sit that at the top, sitting comfortable. So that's like that. Um, now again, I may not be using all of this, I may not even use one here and then I'm going to do one on the other side but again it's a different height not as high so I'm having that coming out there so then the other one I will bring it down so let's just cut that a little bit shorter Oh, I've just had a piece of glue just spit at my finger. So 
So then I'll bring this one. So it looks like it's gone flowing downwards. And let's pull that back so I can get the most of that stem. And let's see about this. Yeah, and I'll put one behind the agapanthus. Uh, uh, yeah, agap yeah, agapanthus, is it? Did I say it? Amaranthus. Oh my good gracious me. Why did I think of ag agapanthus? Amaranthus, about the, behind the red amaranthus. Let's just bring those forward just slightly because that one's leaning. So then you've got that one there. So I don't know about the back. I'll save those because they may go to the back. Now, let me chop one of these off. Now these have got rubber stems as well. of the vine also. Right, let me just pl place that one in. And alongside with that vine, as you can see there, I am adding one of these. I can't remember what these are called. That's been bugging me, I must admit, because I know what they are, and I'm going to place that with the vine. So because it's got a rubber stem, I'm just snipping the rubber, not the wire inside, just the rubber on the outer side. Once I've just gone around, pull it, and you've still got your wire inside the rubber. So then that will melt your rubber, because again, if you place that in your glue pan or on your, your glue gum, it will go up like that, bend, and it won't go into the oasis, and then that will make it look messy. So, let's stick this in. With the vine as well. And this is to give it movement and different texture. There. Now I've got, now I know I've got this one. I'm not sure if I want to place that one up there. It is quite big. do actually just there if I sink it in a bit so it's not sticking up too much and I'm going to place this near further near the back I'm going to bend let's have a look All right, push it down a little bit more Again, I don't want it too high or looking odd because it's too tall. So let's just bend it slightly. Like that. And I may place two of these together.
And as you can see where that one's placed, I'm going to go slightly higher up where the conifer is there. With both of these together, So they're there with the conifer and then I'm going to place perhaps three different sizes of these here. So if I take the smaller one, take that one, and then we'll take that one. Again, because I don't want them all too too low. And I'm just snipping around the rubber, I'm not touching the wire inside and then I pull and then you've got your wire to place inside your, your foam. So there's our three, all different sizes. So they will go together as one. So I want those hanging here. So I'm going to place the smaller one in first. So I want this one. Here, place the head facing. Then the medium. I've done it in small, medium, long stem. And I'm not going to make it look like it's small, medium, long. I'm putting small and medium next to each other and the long one goes in the centre. So it's like that. Doesn't it look lovely? What a gift to give somebody, especially somebody who loves baking. I know a few people who like baking. I, I'm rubbish. I'm rubbish. It's like I said to my husband uh, the other day, when I did uh, last week, I think it were, I cooked him a, uh, a roast dinner. And I said, you see, I told you I could cook. He says, yeah, you can cook, but that's it. It doesn't mean, yes, I can cook and I'm fantastic. <laughs> I can cook things, but whether it's fantastic or not, <laughs> it's a different matter. And I agree with him. <laughs> right, I'm placing this underneath the sunflower, and that is to take away that gap there. And I'm going to perhaps place, let's see, another one, maybe slightly higher up. Or do I do it lower down? No, slightly higher. So I'm going to place another one in and place it slightly higher up. Not much, it's only a few, a few millimetres or so, but it's not exactly mirror image. I've got to you know, make sure I don't hide the bow. I want to keep that bow on show. But also incorporate some floral and foliage into it. Bring that one down, like that. We've still got a lot of things on back to do. I'm just wanting to sort out the front so we, you can see what the front's like. We need to start, I don't really want to add, I don't think, much more. I mean, I've got 
the tiger we need to add some red in but I've got the tiger lilies um, I've got the carnations I mean I could add a, oh when you've got a bit of space under here I could add a carnation but low set low in I don't think I'd add the spider lily there no it doesn't look correct and then again we've got our beautiful roses so again I'm trying to get in the uh, foliage first I think if I just place this in one at the bottom let me just flip it up pretty see that's got a good I don't need it that long so I just want a bit of red here but not too much I just want it sitting at the bottom so I'll save those now so now we're going to work his way around and do the back and then we'll come back to the front with the floral as well so again these I want to place around the bottom because they are brilliant for filler foliage brilliant so I'm going to place these in around the edge and I will add all those other things with it if you know again if it looks nice because we need we may have still some gaps so we need to fill those in. I'm only going to dot these around to start with. Today's okay, I'm just working my way around. I'm not putting these at you know right next to each other either. I'm giving them a bit of space for something else to, you know, play, be placed in. Maybe the little red fern, you know, to give that something hanging from the bottom. Oh, have I run out? I need at least another two. Right, let me just grab another two pieces, guys. Oh, I'm coming, my cat. My cat. And if I don't let him in, he's going to be crying like a baby. My little fur baby. One moment. So as you can see, that's how I place them at the back. One moment, guys. Come 
Vega, jump up. Because I know you want to. Where you been? What you got on your face? What you got on your face? Yeah, come here. You got muck on you, you dirty boy. Don't go near there. You'll burn yourself. You'll burn your tootsies. Yes, you will. So, we need to again be working. I'm going to get these little ferns and add these on with the minor touch of red in. This is where I don't get to see what I'm doing. No chewing. I know what you're like with things like greenery. Here we go. Sniff, sniff, chew, chew. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one in and I'm going to place this and I'm going to lift it slightly just to give it a bit of different movement than going straight down. Yeah, you're not having nothing. I've got nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> Rip your body out of the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, in the UK, did you watch Strictly? Oh, I'm a Strictly Come Dancing fan, me. I know you in America on that, I watch it. I, don't, I think Can Canadians do too. Oh, I'm a Strictly... I think everybody does really now. But I love it. And you know what, guys? Uh, I, right from the get-go, I said to my husband, I want Ellie to win. And, she, and I, at the end, I actually thought Leighton was going to get it. Um, and you know when they called her name out oh my gosh I just cheered um, and the thing is I went on to Facebook I think it was Facebook or YouTube and you know how you get those people who disagree oh gosh you know I can't be doing with that I really can't be doing with that so because I was busy on um, doing things, when I saw the comments, I can be quite headstrong. So me being me, I text. I, I put my opinion on it. People were saying Leighton was robbed. You know, it should have been him who who, uh, who won. And Ellie had a bit of dance experience. She had no dance experience. Leighton was in musicals and did dancing. Uh, and at the end of the day, I just basically wrote, it was the public's choice, guys, not the judges, the public's vo uh, choice. And I think you all need to learn to accept instead of acting like you're in a school playground. And that was it. That's all I put. I thought it was wrong. People, all because she won. And it wasn't the person that they wanted to win. They start they start sending horrid, horrid messages. Why? You know, it's a, you know, it's the public's choice. Why do people have to be so horrible? You know, it's it's really beyond me. You know. Really, really beyond me. And I'm not just saying that because my favourite person who I wanted from the beginning won. I'm saying it in general. You know, it's it's just not right. You know, go and give it a go yourself then. That's how I see it. I really do. Just accept who's won and, you know, that's it. Be Be happy for them. 
you know, even if uh, I wanted Ellie to win and Leighton won, I'd be happy for him because he was a good dancer. But it wasn't his choice, it wasn't the judge's choice. So, oh, I don't know. Some people, so touchy. Just enjoy life. Right, I'm putting these uh, amaranthus in and I'm dotting these around at the front as well uh, while I'm so I can get them positioned. I'll show you one in a minute, guys, when I've just placed them in. Again, I'm not mirror imaging, I want to be di place things in. You know, the opposite to where I've just gone, but in a different position, slightly different position. There, look, I've just seen one more. I'm gonna bring this here at the back. Have one at the back, lower down. Let's have a look. See with the little bit of red, don't that look pretty? Oh my gosh. So I don't know about the con uh, the No. Something's telling me no. Not with the Ruskus. No, it just doesn't go. Um, I've got these grasses. Let me have a look about the back. You see, I don't want it to be just green at the back. I want to be adding colour. Oh, I've still got those as well. Oh, my good gracious me. I'm going to place the spider lily at the back. Do I place it high or do I place it low? Low. Right. So I place the spider lily at the back low. As you can see. Because so again, I want some colour at the back. Feel <laughs> I don't think these are going to blend in somehow. Oh, I don't know. I'll place one there. At the back. So I've got that bit of movement. And again, these are push ups. Oh, oh my good gracious me. Sorry. <laughs> you know when the camera's on, I do that. Uh, off, should I say. I do that if I'm doing something and then and something drops out my hand. I do that. I sing. <laughs> oh my good gracious me. Can't help myself. I love singing. A joyful time. It was that when I was cooking yesterday, I was doing exactly the same thing. 
Well, in my husband's mind, cooking and cooking. Uh, and I was doing the same thing. But I was singing O oh, Magnum Mysterium. What we sang in the choir. I just kept singing the first line, uh, first word, sentence over and over again. Right, that needs to go there. I'm going to add a bit of light colour here um, and place that in at an angle again. I'm not going to make it come out too far. I'll just slightly turn the head, but not too much because I want red in there. Again, I'm going to go on the opposite side. That's there, so I'm going to bring that one slightly down. As you can see on the back, it's quite full of greenery. So I've got that there. And I want to bring some of this at the back. Oh, I've started now so wanting to sing it. So I brought that down where the tiger lily is. So I've got one more. I've still got those roses. I'll place one near the front as well. I don't want to cover the sieve too much anyway. So that's like that. I may not just not even use the rest of these tiger lilies. I think they're quite big. Look at these roses. These are beautiful. These would be beautiful for a wedding. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, guys, these have got rubber stems as well. So, again, just snip the rubber. You can feel where the wire is inside. If you think you're catching it, just you know, release your clippers off of it and just try and go around the rubber like I've done there. If you can see. What I want to do, or what I need to place one in that bit there. So I may end up putting it a bit shorter. Pretty colour. Can you see where this is here? What a pretty colour. I think that looks beautiful. I want to like 
do one of each, one of one. I need to bring red. I need, if I'm going to place it first, I'm going to place where I want to place, put some red in there. And then I'll turn it around and I'll show you that uh, oh, that one here. So as you can see where the red carnations are. So that's what I want to do. I don't even know if I'm going to put these in. I can fill up the back with greenery. That's not a problem. Because again, you're not going to be seeing the back because it's going to go up against a wall. But I just wanted to add the odd floral in at the back. You know, just in case somebody decides to turn it around. So... Let's get these in. So I want that one here set here. And the reason I've used the gingham, black and white gingham, is because on the dial it's black and white. So that's the reason I've uh, used the black and white gingham ribbon. I want a little one here. Under there. A bit of red floral there as well. One here. This one at the top. I know you at the now the wooden spoon and everything. Again, I said I don't want to hide it. I'm trying to keep it in focus, uh, but I also need to get make the floral, you know, stand out with it. I can still see them myself. They're just popping up at the around the top, but uh, I'm, I've not hidden them completely. just fill in with the conifer at the back. I think I may uh, be a bit of rustic at the back. I'd have to cut this down. just 
put placing in the rosters again now for filler around the back because uh, we won't be seeing the back as it's a, a front facing arrangement again I've just put the odd bit at the back to give it some bit of floral um, so it's not just plain green just a bit of colour and texture around the back and there. always look under where you've placed your first greenery look under because you will see spaces so like I've just looked under there and spotted a couple of spaces I mean, I know there's somewhere the road where the uh, the rib the bow is at the front. So let's have a look. Yeah, so I'm going to place these at the front also. But push these in quite far so they don't stick out too much. So again, covering your mechanics. guys every month I uh, he gets treated every four weeks without fail I don't leave him untreated or anything I wouldn't I wouldn't again it's not my nature I'm not cruel that you know with animals at all and it, at the weekend is because I have his uh, I have his flea ticks and something else it is uh, delivered through the post because I've ordered it online for a monthly subscription where he gets it every four weeks and I gave it him and I gave it Evie and I've even said to my son I'm thinking of changing and going somewhere else but I, because I don't think it's working because every time I look at him, he's scratch, scratch, scratch. And he's got to be in agony if he just keeps scratching. And I've looked at him, I can't find the fleas. Um, but, like the vet said, they can be embedded deep within that we may not spot them, but they're usually around his bum, you know, back of his neck and things like that. So I've been checking and uh, but it's like one minute it can be sat there in the house like last night he did it actually last night sat in the house and then all of a sudden oh he went like clappers he really did go like clappers he was scratching himself and then he was biting himself so it's got to be in pain so i've had this stuff from this company called itch for a while now, for a few years. They wanted to know the temperament of the cat so they could get the right uh, flea, tick, and all that lot. The right, subs you know, the solution for them. I gave them all the information, and it still doesn't seem to work. It's, in fact, he's got a dry patch on the back where it dries weird, it dries his fur weird you have to put it right up here so they don't lick it because it's not healthy for them um, and, and, and it just keeps doing it it's like they don't disappear it can't be infested because I've, I can't find them myself but I've read up and they said if they're constantly scratching licking and all this lot on a vet site um, then he's infested <laughs> thing is I can't see him so I don't know 
So I've looked for something else what may help him. Because he can't go on like that. Because it's it's not just driving him crazy, it's driving you know us crazy by watching him. It's like they if he has got them, they're bullying him because they're not leaving him alone. And sure surely, you know, for sure he's got to be depressed with it. So if anybody knows something what does actually work 100% and stops the larvae from hatching as well, please let me know because I can't see him like this. It's just not fair. It's not fair on him. So, I've put three of the roses in at the front. One here, one here, and one down here. Um, I'm gonna place, I think, I don't know where to place that there, or get actually another spider lily and place that here. No, that don't look right. Um, let's just have a look, guys. So yes, I'm in, uh, I don't know what, I'm, what to do, I've tried, honest to God, you know, you know when the vets say try this, those plug-in things, try this, guys, honestly, I have spent lots of money trying everything, what the vets say, absolutely lots, um, and I have literally tried the plug-in wall things, um, Oops. Uh, oh, you name it. Everything that they say, the vets tell you to get, I have tried. I really, really have tried. And it just don't work. It don't work. Then they say bath them. Yeah? <laughs> bath them? You try and bath my car. He will bite you like one oh. And I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to put myself through that. And then you get told, well, wear some big long gloves like you would if you were holding a hawk. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to do that either, you know. Um, because they'll get wet through. It's just... I think it's just... Sometimes it makes you start believing everything's just a con. You can't trust anybody. Because nothing's actually working for him. I feel sorry for him. I'm going to put some of these brown, oh I can't be bothered to take the band off, brown rub, foam roses in the back just to give it some colour to match the colour of the ribbon. And I'm just placing them for the colour And I'm only putting three in. I think. Okay, something's turning me down here. Yeah. So yes, guys, if you've got any any ideas and you know for for a hundred percent fact that it does work, oh gosh, I'd be really appreciated it if you'd let me know my poor car. He's going through a crisis. Right, I need, where's that? I'm going to put this uh, vanilla grass and I'm not going to push it up to the top. I can see a gap here. I need it there. So as you can see on the back guys, I've just placed a few of the uh, brownish foam roses to go with the colour of the 
ribbon. That's just a minimal effect on the back, but it's full. So, oh, I've got that board. Where can I place that last bit of board? I'll place that. back to zero something around there <laughs> So to say guys that we haven't had any plans of what how I, what the design was, I just went and brought a few kitchenware uh, I don't want those. I think we've done quite well. Uh, that is the front of our scales. Uh, with as you can see the top of the uh, wooden spoon sieve uh, whisk and spatula sometimes you know when I when I analyze the videos I think why didn't I bring it up higher because I've, I'm hiding it uh, but I can still see them when I'm sat here at eye view I can still see them the only thing that bothers me slightly is this whisk because you can see straight through it. Now if I would have got a coloured one instead of a metal one, maybe that would have shown. I could have sprayed it to be quite honest. Uh, but I think with the, the neutral colours on the bow uh, blending really well and the, with the slightly coffee colour or peachy colour floral with a bit of red to match in again like I say always take into consideration the colour of your container um, so hence the reason I've brought in the red and the uh, amaranthus as well and the tiger lily around the back and the carnations is because we've got red here and with it being black and white in the centre for the dial that's the reason I've got the gingham so I've blended what's in here up here whether it be in the floral or in the bow um, and then I've just added uh, the conifer or cypress leaves a bit of uh, fern with red tips on um, the ficus what I say looks like cat's eyes it looks like his eyes especially when he's doing that to me <laughs> um, the uh, these are what well, I'm not sure what they are I really know um, I ought to take try and uh, research that uh, and then the uh, just the vine the wispy vine and the grasses and a bit of ruscus and a bit of foliage and uh, and I think it blends in really really well I think it's really pretty so guys I know that everybody has got scales well not everybody um, but you can get a plastic scales or anything you don't have to have these heavy what duty ones like me or other people scales are scales but you can get something even from a charity shop something similar and do what i've done with the foam glue it in and then put tie wrap around it at the bottom and uh, and then create your arrangement so because I, like I say, I know ma majority of people always have scales in their house. So there's no excuse. No excuse is the Marley that you can't, you can't give it a bash. And again, I've had these for ages and there were no excuse really for me, was there? So I thought, let's give it a bash. So we did. And um, I think to be quite honest, guys, I think it's quite pretty. 
wouldn't somebody like that especially like if you had a, gr a grandma or your mom who loves baking and you gave, gave her something like this to place in her kitchen um, while she was doing this baking or cooking or whatever um, what a ni nice gift and now if I was a cook or a baker I'd, I'd love it I'd love a gift like this it'd be different that's me I like different things so again give it a go guys you know even if you've got smaller scales it doesn't matter you know give it a go you haven't always got to have big like me the, as David said the iris big um, you can have it lower down you know it's just I've just got these scales so again um, whatever color you like match it in whatever color if you're keeping it for yourself match it in with the color, your color scheme or if it's for your granny or a friend or your mom or your aunt um, you know if you know what their color scheme is in their kitchen then match it in with their color scheme oh what a joy so and just add a few utensils as well brilliant brilliant so guys i hope you enjoyed that have a wonderful day i've still got work to do my cat's gonna join me i guess <laughs> as usual eh as usual he's been upstairs on my son's bed what you got on your ear oh you've been fighting oh my goodness you've been fighting oh he's got a really bad cut on his ear Oh Molly, you've been fighting. You're a bully. Or has somebody had a go at you? Oh my little babies. Oh my little babies. So um I'm gonna check that out. Um and wash it. Let's clean it down for you. Um so yeah, um again uh, everybody, um uh, give it a go. Have fun, have fun, have joy and have a wonderful time making it and uh, please subscribe share and like and give us a little comment and a thumbs up it really does help me guys and uh, you know to uh, give out more I just want to give more I think I was put on this earth to, to do this to help people I really do so uh, you know again I hope you have a wonderful day and take care and if you're in a country or anywhere cold oh guys please 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 wrap up um, and again as I say many times if you haven't got to go out stay in so take care everybody I'm gonna have a look at his ear and uh, I'll see you tomorrow all the best bye say bye Miles say bye bye <laughs> <laughs> oh don't do, 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 do. move that way then Let me... oh guys i'm gonna do just a quick close-up oops the day is it if my cat moves again okay, let me move all the cable out of the way i always forget to do this there's your quick close-up. Oh, video's gone on for two hours, five minutes. There's your quick close-up, guys, of the utensils that I've used and the beautiful bows with a cup of coffee on. And look at those roses, aren't they pretty? And then again, just the sunflowers, the nice cream sunflowers and everything. You get out, move away. And the gingham ribbon as well. So yeah, just something like that. So I hope you enjoyed it guys again. Have a wonderful day. Take care. All the best and stay safe. Bye bye.